Jessica, also known as Jan, uh, Brugger, Missouri, and I am here to tell you about uh, the first date with my husband, John, 1978. But actually, I met John in, I think I met, <laughs> this is terrible, I think I met him in 73. He was uh, younger than I. Um, I had seen him actually on an airplane before he came to campus. Um, I was flying back from visiting one of my friends on the East Coast, and he was flying for the first time to come as a freshman. Little did I know at the time <clears throat> that I would meet him again. Just, the only reason I know I saw him on the plane was that I then, of course, met him later and we established our long-term relationship. But at that time, I all I just noticed, oh, you know, that's a really handsome guy. My God, he's tall. Look at that big, giant head of red hair. Um, but what he remembers from that flight is that he'd never been to Iowa before. And he had just kind of used the common application method and decided, I'm out of here. I'm not staying in Maine. I'm, where can I go? And so here he was going. As the plane landing, he tells the story that he looks out the window and he sees the tarmac approaching and approaching and approaching. And there's like nothing anywhere on the horizon. Well, if you're from the Midwest, you are not concerned about that. You actually like that horizon. The pilot wasn't saying anything. He thought for sure they were crash landing. So, sets down on the tarmac, and at that point in this little airport, you, you walk down the stairs from the plane onto the tarmac and then enter the terminal. And he thought, holy, holy, what have I done? Where have I come to? Because for a maniac, a place that's like flat as a pancake with no trees is a real issue. In any case, so we did meet and uh, we had a common interest in French and um, I had seen him then in the cafeteria, sitting all by himself for a while. Um, but then sooner or later, we figured out how we could, could meet and, uh, through a common friend of ours. And, uh, and so he invited me on a date. Now, Mount Vernon, Iowa, I think maybe had a thousand, two thousand people. Um, the college was also very small, so dating, you know, without a car, an issue. We walked to the local elementary school. Since he worked, his um, work-study job was with the, uh, uh, God, what do we call it? You know, whatever the food service was at college. Um, and so he had access to a variety of food that I did not without going to the grocery store. So in his pockets of his white painter pants, he had put two large navel oranges um, as a snack to have on our date. We walked to the elementary school and uh, went, uh, we were, you know, swinging on the swings at the elementary school. And then he peeled expertly the navel oranges and we enjoyed the navel oranges and talked and and we walked back to campus and that was our first date.